did you know that only one in 10 adults meet their daily recommended amount of fruit? Which is at least one and one half to two cups per day. Hi viewers and welcome back to Bestie. Generally speaking, most fruits are good for your health. Research has shown eating a minimum of four to five servings per day helps boost your mood and reduce your risk of heart disease, obesity, and type two diabetes. But there are a few unhealthy ones as well, which are hidden sugar mines. The idea of unhealthy fruit may seem like nature's evil joke, tricking us into thinking we're being healthy when really we're downing tablespoons of sugar. In today's video, we'll tell you about both types of fruits, those you should eat regularly and those you should probably avoid. We're talking about heroes like apples, pomegranates, papaya, and villains like bananas, coconut, watermelon, and more. So watch until the end to learn about all of them. Let's start with the healthy ones first. Number one, blueberries. Blueberries are one of the top fruits rich in antioxidants. They have a pleasing sweet taste and are very low in calories and on the glycemic index. In fact, research suggests that they are positively good for blood sugar control. The fiber in the fruit forms a gel in the gut that can slow down the release of glucose into the bloodstream. They also contain certain phytonutrients that may actually block sugar from being absorbed through the gut wall and into the bloodstream. Additionally, research suggests that blueberries help protect the heart, lowering bad cholesterol and slowing plaque buildup, thanks in part to their soluble pectin fibers. While other research suggests that blueberries protect against oxidative stress and dementia. They're also included in the MIND diet, which was designated to protect against Alzheimer's disease. What's your favorite way to add blueberries to your diet? In smoothies, cereal, pancakes, or straight up raw? Tell us quickly in the comments below. Number two, papaya. Low in calories and full of nutrition, papaya has more vitamin C than an orange. It's loaded with vitamin A, potassium, folate, and fiber. It also contains lutein and zeaxanthin, substances which help protect your eyes from age-related blindness. It helps in the prevention of atherosclerosis, diabetes, and heart disease. It also contains folic acid, which is needed for the conversion of a substance called homocysteine. If left unconverted, homocysteine can directly damage blood vessel walls, and if levels get too high, it's considered a significant risk factor to heart attack and strokes. The antioxidants in papaya fight the cholesterol present in the blood and prevent it from building into plaques that clog the arteries. Apart from that, the rich fiber content of fruit breaks down toxic substances into easily absorbable amino acids, reducing the chances of heart stroke. Number three, grapes. The little bulbs are one of the world's oldest and most abundant healthiest fruits. Grapes may also have a favorable effect on blood lipids decreasing inflammation and reducing blood pressure, according to research. They're also a great source of potassium, which helps prevent muscle cramps. Just don't share them or these other foods with your dog. They can be toxic. Number four, pomegranates. Pomegranate seeds and their juice-filled compartments are phytonutrient giants, with two or three times as much antioxidant activity as green tea or red wine. Not surprisingly, there is research that suggests that they can help protect against cancer, lower blood pressure, improve cholesterol levels, and improve cognitive function. In one study, a group of older subjects who drank eight ounces of pomegranate juice daily for four weeks scored higher on memory tests than a controlled group. One downside, they're not the easiest fruit to eat. Number five, oranges. Oranges are packed with vitamin C and potassium. They also contain flavonoids, plant nutrients with anti-inflammatory properties. They aren't very sweet, so you don't end up craving sugary sweets after eating one. They're also the perfect fruit to eat before a long training run or other sports or aerobic activity. Eating an orange is better than drinking its juice. It's just 69 calories and you get three grams of fiber as well. Number six, apples. Sure, apples aren't the most glamorous fruit, you're not likely to find them on many superfood roundups, but they have plenty of virtues, not the least of which is that they store and travel well. They're an excellent source of the phytonutrient quercetin, which in a number of studies has been shown to reduce inflammation and counteract asthma and allergy symptoms. It's also been shown to protect brain cell degeneration, which can lead to Alzheimer's disease. Research found that eating apples and other whole fruits was linked with lower blood pressure, the fiber in it also connected with improvements in cholesterol levels. Don't forget to eat the skin too. It's especially rich in disease-fighting compounds like flavonoids, which reduce the risk of heart disease. 
A number of studies have shown that apples can provide a helpful assist in weight loss programs. Number 7. Raspberries It's safe to say raspberries are the equivalent of kale from the vegetable world. They're packed with fiber, about 8 grams per cup. That's about a third of your daily needs. They also contain a variety of phytonutrients, and their net antioxidant effect is gram for gram, second only to herbs and spices. Additionally, a study showed that eating 60 grams of black raspberry powder slowed the growth rate of colorectal cancer cells and the blood vessels that supply them in two to four weeks. Researchers believe that the fruit phytochemicals stimulate your enzyme defenses. These are known as free radicals, which, left unchecked, promote cellular deterioration and lead to cancerous mutations. Number 8. Avocado It's often known as the most nutritious fruit in the world for a reason. It contains an excess of 25 essential nutrients, including vitamin A, B, C, E, and K, copper, iron, phosphorus, magnesium, and potassium. Avocado also contains fiber, protein, and beneficial phytochemicals, such as beta-cysterol, glutathione, and lutein, which help protect against various diseases and illnesses. In addition, it's one of the high-calorie fruits that you could be eating. This is due to its larger amounts of fat content, approximately 20 times the average of other fruits. They also contain good amounts of vitamin C, which helps in the production of collagen, which is needed for the growth of new cells and tissues. Okay, now let's move on to the fruits that are unhealthy. Number one, bananas. Bananas are a great grab and go option when you're feeling healthy, but in reality, they're also 25% sugar. While they're a good source of potassium and other micronutrients, there are many other fruits that offer so much more, such as blueberries and raspberries. They also contain about 150 calories, which is about 37.5 grams of carbohydrates. So if you eat two to three bananas every day, chances are this could lead to weight gain. They're not bad for you in moderation, but you shouldn't be using them as a meal replacement very often. Number two, mangoes. One mango has about 30 grams of carbohydrates and about 26 grams of sugar. It also has a middle to high value of 60 on the glycemic index. And as it ripens, its glycemic index rises. So if you like mangoes, go for a smaller serving and also watch out for them as sweetening ingredients in your smoothie and guacamole. Number three, dried fruit. Most dried fruit is not much healthier than candy. The pieces are often dried, coated in sugar, and treated with chemicals to preserve color and freshness. If you're drying the fruit yourself, you've got a better product. Otherwise, this is one fruit category worth skipping. Per ounce, dried fruit packs in more calories and less water content than the fresh variety. Research shows drying fruit dramatically reduces the amount of vitamin C in it. Number four, coconut. There sure has been a lot of hype surrounding all things coconut. But don't be fooled by the claims that this is a healthy alternative, whether in the form of oil, sugar, or water, is better for you. It's loaded with heart-damaging saturated fat, sugar, and calories that hide behind its healthy food co-op image. Tasty as it may be, people with high cholesterol or a history of heart disease should stay away from this. Coconut might be unhealthy for you, but its water is plenty good. If you want to know its health benefits, watch this video titled Drinking Coconut Water Every Day Does This to Your Body. Now, back to healthy and unhealthy fruits. Number five, cherries. Due to their small size, cherries are also easy to scarf down by the dozen, but they contain higher sugar content than many other fruits. One cup of it contains 17 grams of sugar. This makes them poor fruit choices for diabetics and dieters. Also, cherries may make you bloated. They contain compounds that create gas and cause bloating because they're difficult to digest. Instead of packing a bag of cherries to take with you to work, make a berry mix instead. That way you'll be satiated without the sugar overload or bloating. Number six, corn. This isn't just a seasonal staple that you see in summers. You eat it in the form of popcorn, processed syrup, salsa, and breakfast cereals. Because of this, corn is often riddled with tons of GMOs. It's often fed to cows to fatten them up before they're slaughtered for meat. So just imagine the negative effects such a product would have on your body. Number seven, watermelon. This fruit is made up of 92% water. This large quantity of water that it has contains plenty of fructose, which is a natural form of sugar usually found in fruits. 
The high level of fructose in watermelon could be unhealthy for people hoping to stay fit and have better cardio workings when taken in excess. More so, excessive eating of this fruit may cause diarrhea and other digestive problems due to the fructose it contains. Eating a large quantity of watermelon may increase the level of water in your body. If the excess water is not excreted, it can lead to an increase in the volume of the blood, further causing swellings in the legs, exhaustion, weak kidneys, and many more. Number 8. Lychee Researchers have found that lychees, particularly unripe ones, contain a toxin that keeps us from synthesizing glucose. That, in turn, leads to low blood sugar levels, which can cause some major problems. If you're struggling with managing your blood sugar, give these a miss. How often do you eat fruits? Is it daily? Weekly? Monthly? Do you prefer juicing it or eating it raw? Let us know in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.